Hello guys, welcome back to part something of these tutorials. I am not keeping count. Um, as you've noticed, I've already imported the font um, class, so you are in for a good time. So let's get started. What we're going to do today is we are going to set up the font class, which means we are going to be able to select a font and work with it. Um, that when I say work with it, I really mean just display it on the screen. Nothing that exciting. So let's get started. I'm going to create a font variable named font, and then I'm going to create a method. This is very similar to the color management class, so you won't have a very hard time with this. So let's do public void select font, and we'll pass in the string selection. But we'll also pass in an integer called size because our font has the ability to be big or small. So we're going to do if selection dot equals sans serif. We'll also do one for if selection dot equals serif. And we'll do one if selection, oh my god, dot equals monospaced. So if you don't know already, these are all fonts, even if they have some interesting names to them. Okay, so once we've set up our if statements, we can um, set these fonts equal to some things. So we'll do font equals, equals new font, and we'll set this to sans, oh, in all space, in all, all caps. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I cannot speak. Okay, so in all capitals, we are going to write sans underscore serif. And then we are going to do font dot plain. And then we're going to do size. So um, this accepts a couple arguments. The first argument is what type of font we want, what style of the font we want. For example, I could also set this to italicized, bolded, etc. And then the size of the font. And we're going to be doing the same one for these guys. So I'm just going to copy and paste these because I'm lazy as hell. And let's paste it. And instead of sans serif, let's change this to serif. And then we'll paste another one here. Instead of sans serif, we're going to type mono spaced. There we go. So it's really as simple as that. Um, and like last time, we're also going to create a return method. So it's like, let's write public font and name this to get font. Great. And then we'll just return our font. Simple as that. So that's all there is to this class. And the last class we're going to be working with is our save content class, which is where all the exciting stuff happens and it actually gets a little bit challenging. So you're going to get your, uh, your I don't know what to say, your tutorials put to work in the save content, whatever. So get excited for that and I will see you there.